friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Monday, it's Monday, so it is meal prep day. I have three super simple, high protein, healthy recipes for you, and I'm so excited to share them. So if you're excited too, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload a meal prep every Monday and five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. This is how I've been successful losing over 136 pounds, and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let me flip you around. Let's get in the kitchen and start this week's meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm making berry cheesecake overnight oats. I love overnight oats. They're easy, they're ready to go, grab and go in the morning. So I'm going to make up a few jars for breakfast this week. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First you're going to need honey, rolled oats, vanilla extract, low fat cottage cheese, any milk of your choice. You could use almond milk. I always use Fairlife for the extra protein, frozen or fresh berries, and some sliced almonds. So the first thing we're going to do for our overnight oats is in a bowl, we're going to add fruit. So you want all the fruit for all the overnight oats that you're making. So I'm actually going to make three jars. So I'll divide this mixture out between the three jars. I used frozen fruit, so I did defrost it in the microwave because we're going to mash this up. We want one and a half teaspoons total of vanilla. That's half of a teaspoon per overnight oat. And then three teaspoons of honey because it is one teaspoon per jar. And then like I said, we're going to take a fork and mash that together, getting that mixed together really well. So to the jar, I'm going to add half of a cup of milk, half of a cup of rolled oats, and half of a cup of cottage cheese. And then stir that to combine. I'm going to top it with one third of my berries because again, I'm making three jars total. And then lastly, I'm going to sprinkle just a few sliced almonds, about a teaspoon right on top. Pop the lid on and it's going into the refrigerator and I will have perfect yummy berry overnight oats in the morning. So let's put together two more jars. So here's my breakfast for the week. These look incredible. I mean, berry cheesecake packed with protein. Between the cottage cheese and the Fairlife milk, you're getting a lot of protein in these. You're getting some carbs from the berries, slow digesting carbs from the oats, really, really well rounded, easy, portable breakfast. I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For lunch this week, I'm making white chicken enchiladas. I'm so excited for this. I have been craving, and I mean craving enchiladas. So let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need some whole milk, beef broth, or chicken broth. The recipe calls for chicken broth. I don't have any, so I'm just going to use beef broth. Light shredded cheese, a can of diced chilies, butter, I'm just using Kerrygold butter. You could use light butter if you would like. Low fat cream cheese, a low carb, low point tortilla, and then shredded chicken breast. So now we're going to put together the actual enchiladas. So you could have reserved some of the shredded cheese to put in the tortilla shell. I'm just going to add chicken to mine. But like I said, you could add some of the cheese for that cream mixture that's going to go over the top and then add some of the cheese into your actual enchiladas. So whatever your preference is. I'm just going to divide my chicken out evenly and then roll that up, place that seam down into my sprayed baking dish. I do have my oven preheating to 375 degrees. those 
those in my 9 by 13 baking dish. I'm going to pour this delicious cream mixture right on top. I'm putting it into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until it's cooked through. The enchiladas just came out of the oven. These smell seriously incredible. I am really excited for this cheesy, creamy goodness for lunches this week. I will go ahead and put points, serving sizes, macros, all the information here on the screen for you. But again, a really healthy, delicious lunch option. For a sweet treat, I am making chocolate chip peanut butter balls. These are going to have some protein in them. And again, a really easy, simple, portable lunch, portable snack. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some sugar-free maple syrup, rolled oats, flour of your choice. I always use my Kodiak Power Flour because it gives me a little punch of extra protein. Salt, chocolate chips. I'm almost out of my Lily's chocolate chips, but I do have the Lily's salted caramel chips. So I'm going to add some of those. And then you're going to need a nut butter of your choice. I mean, obviously I'm going to use American Dream nut butter. You guys know this is my all time favorite nut butter. I love how delici delicious it is. It is less points, less calories than traditional peanut butter. I'm using the S'moreo. This one has marshmallows and chocolate. It's an almond butter. They have peanut butter, cashew butter. I mean, if you haven't checked out American Dream nut butter, I will link them down below with 10% off. I cannot recommend them enough. Hands down the best nut butters that you're going to find. This one's almost gone, so I'm going to go ahead and use that up. So to make our peanut butter balls super easy, everything's going into one bowl. Starting with half of a cup of rolled oats, half of a cup of nut butter, some salt, two tablespoons of flour. You could also use protein powder if you wanted to up the protein and you can't find this flour. You can buy it off the Kodiak website, but you can also sub a protein powder. A couple tablespoons of sugar-free maple syrup. 120 Lily's chocolate chip or salted caramel chips. Go ahead and mix that together. This is going to create the peanut butter ball mixture. So here is what your mixture looks like. We're going to roll this into 12 peanut butter balls. I'm just going to set them on some parchment paper. So I actually ended up with 16 of the little peanut butter chocolate chip balls. I'll put the points for 16 here on the screen, but I'll make sure that I include the points and all the macros for 12 on my recipe website because technically you're supposed to get 12. So you'll actually get a little bit bigger protein ball, but I'm really excited for these. They are a perfect, perfect sweet treat that you can take with you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. Don't forget you can find all of today's recipes on my recipe website. It will be linked at the top of the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Have an amazing week and I'll see you in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day.